In this hardcore world, I want to conquer the ocean, which means defeating evil fish and claiming the waters with a cool build. Got him! I defeated the ocean fish! Yeah, it's not gonna be those kinds of fish. It's these kinds of fish. And to defeat the monsters of the sea, I need a special weapon. I got these two tridents from Drowned I killed in the ocean so we can enchant them and make them powerful. Okay, let's see what we get. I'm breaking three, that's a good start. And Riptide, oh my gosh. Okay, I think if you use Riptide in the ocean and then you can fly. Oh my gosh, Wee! Oh my gosh, it does a spinny thing. Perfect for escaping from the evil ocean. Let's see what we get on the other one. Impaling. I want to impale something. Let's try out what impaling does on one of those poor unfortunate cows. Got him! But this trident also needs a loyalty enchant, so I can always get it back without having to collect it from far away. So I went to visit my dear friends the villagers and gave them potatoes in exchange for taking one of them. Get back here, I paid four stacks of potatoes for you! And let's take you home. And with home I mean this place where you're gonna get zombified. Sorry, not sorry. Oh, there's a trident drowned in the ocean! Oh my gosh, we got another trident! We just got another trident! And goodbye, zombie. Enjoy the apple, see you later. Wait, it's raining. Does that mean I can use Riptide everywhere? <gasps> Woo! Ow! Help, I'm stuck on top of the tower. So funny thing, while I was waiting for the villager to be cured, I enchanted my third trident and got loyalty on it. So I can just combine the loyalty trident with the impaling trident and then we have the perfect one. Of course, with mending. Okay, check out this cool trident now. I can throw it and it's always gonna come back to me. Please come back. Yay, I got it back! Which means we don't need this loser anymore. Sorry. But since he's already cured, he's gonna be my fisherman and live in my boat. But now that we have the perfect tridents, I want to build a houseboat on the ocean where I can plot my attack on the Guardian Temple. And I'll also let the villager live in it, I guess. He's a fisherman after all. Ew, he stinks. For the base of the boat, I want to use those deep slate tiles. Let's make a nice boat-shaped platform that is mostly submerged underwater. That kind of looks like a boat shape, right? And now we just gotta bring this upwards a bit. Okay, boat is done, just kidding. And then for the main colors of the build, I wanna use warp wood. I still have a stack and a bit in my storage, but I'm also gonna have to use copper. And I have to smelt all of that down. And while the copper is smelting, let's chop some more warp trees down. I'm a bit worried about the blue warp colors looking too blue for the ocean, but we're gonna have to see. Why is this creepy LA spying on me? It's over there. Ah, it saw me! No, go away! You know what? I can make this LA work for me and make it pick up the warp blocks. So I just farm this wall of warts and the LA is gonna pick it all up. And then the LA is gonna dump them all in my inventory and I'm gonna dump it in the composter. Not the wood! No! Ah! And now we've made more than half of the bone meal bag than we used for this farm. It's sustainable, which is kind of sus, not gonna lie. And I'm still smelting lots of copper, but I'm already gonna turn the copper I have into blocks. And then I'm gonna have to oxidize all of it. All of this copper has to turn blue, so I'm gonna spread it out on this field everywhere. This is gonna take ages. And so I don't have to sit around and wait for this whole copper field to oxidize, I'm gonna gather the other resources I need. Which is of course spruce wood. I just love using spruce wood on everything. Leave a like if you also like spruce wood, that was so cringe. I already got all these cool resources together, but this field is still oxidizing. But at least some of them have already turned blue. So I'm already gonna start to make the walls out of the warp wood and then I'm gonna add the copper in later. Building up the shape of a ship was actually a lot harder than I thought. We already got a basic boat shape down, but the copper is still not oxidizing fast enough. But we can already collect the ones we have and start decorating the walls. And then we can break some bits and pieces off the walls and replace it with this copper and this copper, which makes it look really nice and metallic. Okay, this is looking really good. And now we can grab all the spruce wood and decorate the walls. But first the magenta windows. And then the spruce decorations on the wall also have to be in good old fisherman style. Yeah, this is giving off ship vibes. And this place here is also gonna be a grand spruce wood entrance. And I think I'm also gonna try to connect this entrance to the land over here so we can walk on the ship easily. Okay, this is gonna be a really nice entrance. I also added some warp fences over here for more detailing. And now we can put a house on top of this boat. And with that I mean a big spruce wood platform right on top. And then some fences on top so I won't fall off. Which I probably will anyways. Okay, this is already looking a lot like a ship now. Kind of like a weird medieval party boat. But to make this a houseboat, we gotta put an actual house on top. Like for real, an actual house on top of the boat. For a moment I was like, oh no, how can I get up there? And then I remembered I had a riptide trident. Oh, that was so high. Oh my gosh. Whee! Ah, it's so high. 
Ow. I'm not scared. I have a trident now. Yes, I just jumped around with my trident for 10 minutes straight. Procrastinating. But I also discovered I can rip that into fish and they die. Okay, no more trident jumping, more building. Let's make the house walls out of stripped oak and oak planks. And then I want to have a nice blue roof to complement the colors of the boat. And then we fill the roof with the strip warp wood. And then of course we also have to change up those plain walls and add lots of spruce decoration. Okay, now take a look at this amazing looking ship. Houseboat kind of thing. I also want to decorate the deck of the ship even more by adding lots of big pots. And I also try to do some sort of steering wheel but it looks really weird. Don't look at it, it's ugly. And now we just have to make the villager go in the boat. So I'm gonna steal his barrel, ha <laughs> loser. I'm gonna put it in here. Come on villager, go get the barrel. Good boy. Why am I talking to them like they're dogs? I haven't done any interior on this beautiful houseboat yet, but that's because I want to fill it with trophies I got from killing the guardians. So first I guess I have to kill the guardians. I'm not scared. So now we're gonna prepare to go to an ocean monument. And I also need to make invisibility and water breathing potions. And I definitely googled how to make them. And the invisibility is done. Now I just have to do the water breathing and for that I have to destroy this poor pufferfish. I'm sorry little guy. And now we put him in here. These two potions will help us so much. Also, why is there a pig and a camel on the eyebrows of my nether portal cat? Should I try to help them down? Maybe I should. Oops, I'm not gonna do that to the camel. I'm just gonna run away. You saw nothing. And I love making banners to put on a shield for all the different adventures I go on. I already have one for my nether adventure and for my bamboo adventure. And now we also have a trident one which looks really weird on the shield. But you can kinda still tell it's a trident, right? And I think now we're finally ready to face the ocean monument. And since it's raining, I can just fly there with my trident. I'm scared, ow. I literally don't even need a boat. I can just use the trident to fly really high. Please don't die, please don't die, please don't die. Oh my god! I'm flying. We're now approaching the ocean monument and I am definitely not scared. Okay, now I just gotta drink my potions and then I'm gonna go fight the guardians. Do I have to take my armor off for them to not see me? I'm not scared, I'm not scared. Oh, there are so many down here. Now I just have to kill three elder guardians. Ah! Oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Oh no, stupid mining fatigue thing. Ah, oh, I knew it would come, but I didn't expect it. That doesn't make sense. Can I kill this fish? Ow, ow. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Okay, I'm fine. I can just kill them with my trident. <laughs> got him. Ooh, I found a big room full of guardians. Oh my gosh, there's the big guy. I'm scared. And now we shoot the big guy. Got him. Got him again. Go away, small guy. Where did he go? <gasps> He's hiding in there. What a loser. He's hiding from me. Face me, guardian, evil creature. Got him. And we get cool stuff. <gasps> Wait, we get armor trims from them? Ah, I got mining fatigue again. Oh no. Oh, that scared me so bad again. I have two minutes left on invisibility and water breathing. Now I just need to find the other ones. Guardians, where are you at? I'm not scared of you and you're gonna be dead. Okay, where can you... Ah, ah, oh my gosh, that scared me so bad. Ah, that scared me. Ah, no, no, he, he's looking for me. He's looking for me. Die. Got him again. Do I get another armor trim? No. Now just one more. Oh, I'm, I'm not here. I'm invisible. Hi, it's me, the trident. I'm gonna drink more potions though, otherwise I'm gonna drown and die. Where are you, Mr. Guardian? There's no escape from invisible trident. Oh, Mr. Guardian. I'm lost. Wait, this is the entrance. Oh, this is a sponge room. I need to come back here later and get them once I don't have mining fatigue. Five minutes of me screaming and singing and being a creepy assassin later. Found you. Got him. Give me an armor trim, you loser. Got him. Aw, no armor trim. Well, at least we got one. Ah, guardian. And now that mining fatigue ran out, I'm gonna drink my remaining potions and then I'm gonna get all the sponges. And I think in this box is gonna be some gold too. Yes, it's all mine. And I'm gonna take this dark prismarine because it looks so cool. I love how I can now just mine through the walls because I used to get lost so bad. Aha, I found you. And I think you mine them with a hoe, right? Oh yes, here we go. I found another one. 
I have one minute left on the potion, so let's go really, really far away. That went really well, and you still can't see me because I'm invisible. Bye, guardians. You stink like fish. Okay, that was a scary adventure. But we got all this cool stuff, and I didn't even take a lot of damage. I'm definitely gonna duplicate this armor trim straight away. And I kind of want to put this on my chest plate. Let's see how it looks. I'm an evil guardian. Now I have a wither helmet and an evil guardian chest plate. And now I'm gonna take all this guardian stuff over to the ship, and I'm gonna display it there like a museum. Hey there, villager. Oh, how he just looked at me. He's so creepy. So I basically went ahead and did the entire interior. And now it looks like an ocean monument museum. We have the prismarine over there and the sea lantern here and the armor trim over here and the wet sponges. It looks so cozy in here. No scary guardians anywhere. And I moved the villager up this ladder in this little room here so he has his own little space. I wanted him to free roam on the deck but he kept jumping off in the water. So I locked him in here and gave him a bathtub. Villagers are so weird. No, I don't want to go in the bathtub with you. Go away, villager. Ugh, he's so creepy. And now we have a prismarine museum and a villager house all in this cozy houseboat and some of the copper still hasn't oxidized i hope you enjoyed this hardcore episode i'll see you next time bye please don't die please don't die ow okay bye